In this video, I'm going to talk about measuring and improving performance. There are three ideas. What does performance mean? What does performance measurement mean? And what are performance criteria? I'd like to begin with a story. One of my passions in life is alpine skiing. A few years ago, I got to attend a workshop taught by a race coach on the U.S. national team. I'd been skiing for over 20 years and also had my teaching certification. Well, my coach skied down the slope and then he asked each of us to do 10 wedge turns as we skied down to him. Now, a wedge turn is what we teach beginners on day one. However, a wedge turn also reveals all the elements of expert skiing. So, when I skied down to my coach, he told me, here is what I'm looking for. Here is what good skiers do. They ski upright and relax. They turn consistently. Size and shape of the turns. They turn rhythmically. They incorporate carving. Then my ski coach went ahead and measured my performance. He pulled out a rubric that measured me on each of the important dimensions. He rated me as a level 2 skier. Quite honestly, when I looked at his rubric, I thought I was more like a level 1.5. Also, I felt very excited because I now understood how I could move from my present level to become a much better skier. Let's define our first concept. Performance is something that is useful or worthwhile to people. Something we care about. Examples include skiing, swimming, driving a car. Other examples include doing engineering calculations, writing a computer program, and designing something such as a wind turbine. Let's define our second concept. Performance measurement is defined as the process of assigning a number to indicate present level of performance. Where are you at in the continuum? But why would we want to measure performance? Well, there are three reasons. One, when you measure performance, you can see your growth as you get better and better. Reason two, measuring performance is a way of being data-based. If I use my emotions, I want to be a level five skier. We all do. But the data showed I was level two. And we can learn much better when we know accurately where we are. The third and most important reason is that measuring performance tells us how to move from wherever our level is to a higher level of performance. Let's look at this in a little more detail. Recall that my ski coach told me, here's what good skiers do. He was revealing the things I needed to work on in order to become better. These things are called performance criteria, which is our third concept. So performance criteria are actions we take in order to do well. Summary. Performance is something that is worthwhile or useful for people. Performance is what we care about. Performance is the reason why we take classes. Performance measurement is the process of assigning numbers to characterize present levels of performance. And performance criteria are the actions we take in order to do well. This concludes the video. I hope you have enjoyed learning about measuring and improving performance.